what kind of role you think uh, Malcolm Jenkins played in, in y'all's uh, defensive success, especially this last half of the season? It seems like he's kind of really settled in and, and uh, found his, his place in the defense. Uh, he's been phenomenal. Uh, I think he's given you everything that you can ask uh, in a safety. Uh, from the back end to being in the box on fits, he's made a lot of plays for us. Um, turnovers, been you know great in the run game, been able to to, to lock up you know tight ends and backs. He's he's um, def definitely uh, I think pre D A up to be able to make a lot of different calls because of the different things that he he can do. Um, a very unique player, um, hybrid type of guy. That, that gives you a lot of versatility on defense. He's been phenomenal for us, uh, a leader on the field and off the field as well. So um, I think that was definitely a, a, a home run get this offseason. Uh, Mario, offensively, is Tampa Bay kind of working on their third versus in game one? Do you see another one now? Face another now that he's fully indoctrinated. Say that again. I couldn't really hear it. Is Tampa Bay essentially kind of working on their third offense? Um, the first one, the first game of the season, then another one when Antonio Brown first joined the team, and now seeming like seeming like another one now that he's fully indoctrinated. I I I think they just um, they have a good offense. They have a lot of different personnel, um, a lot of explosive players. They can do a lot of things. Um, the offensive line has played really good. Um, they got they got uh, quite a few backs that can hit you in a lot of different ways, whether it's running the ball or uh, out of the backfield in the passes. Um, they got multiple dynamic tight ends um, and, and a lot of explosive receivers. And so, um, and one of the you know, um, if not the greatest, one of the greatest quarterbacks that ever played a game. You know, running the show, and they've done a great job as far as play calling and getting all those guys the ball, which can be hard to do when you have that much talent. Um, so they do a lot of lot of things uh, well, and they have a lot of um, talent on that side of the ball. Thank you. Yeah, along those same lines, I, I was going to say, what do you think Brady especially is doing so well in, in this five-game win streak they've been on, and, and what sort of the number one key for you to, to get him back to looking uncomfortable like he did in, in your match? Um, <laughs> I think he is a guy who he is because he does everything well. And he's done everything well for a long time. Um, and so he's definitely the same guy that he's always been. There's no there's no, no difference. Um, and so, you know, it is what it is. Thank you. Yeah, DeMario, along those lines, uh, Drew used to always talk about how much he looked forward to going against a great linebacker like Luke Keekley and the chess match that kind of went on pre-snap. I'm, I'm curious, uh, is that the case against the Tom Brady and do you as a linebacker look, look forward to that kind of mind game before the snap? Um, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a chess match in every game uh, when you have uh, – Great, great quarterbacks and great offensive coordinators going against um, uh, great defenses and great defensive coordinators. That's just that's just part of the game. Um, you know, it's very cliche to talk about the game being 80% mental and 20% physical, uh, but that's essentially what's happening um, from a talent standpoint. Almost everybody on the field, uh, they were just to go to head to head, uh, it'd be probably about equal. Um, but, you know, it comes down to, to the mental aspect of the game. That's, that's, that's each and every week. And when you see guys who are ascending to the top of the league, it, it just uh, raises that level. Luke Johnson. Mario, this may be like a really simple question, but like when you guys are able to develop that pass rush with just the front four, uh, what does that do for everybody else on that defense? Uh, our, our, our front has played phenomenal. Um, all season, um, they're a big, big uh, part of why we have had the success that we've had this year defensively, um, and we definitely need that to continue down the stretch to get to where we want to go. And so, um, they played great last week. We're going to need to continue to play, play great heading into this game. Um, as, you know, that's uh, D line, um, linebackers, safeties in the box. Uh, 
you know, you got to be able to um, make it hard up front. Fred Martell? Here's my uh, uh, curious what you make of Leonard Fournette season and his role with the Bucks. Obviously, he looked like a force of nature when he played for LSU at times. His career has been a little up and down in the NFL, um, but, you know, you know, you'll be facing him someday. Uh, an incredible talent. Um, you don't see backs that big uh, be able to move that that quick and be get, able to get in and out of breaks, um, be able to accelerate, be able to accelerate the way he does. Um, you know, they feel comfortable being able to use him um, in the run game and in the pass game. Um, you know, just he's a complete back, and so um, they definitely got a good one when they got him. Rob Walker, hey, Mario, I know you. Turned um, 32 the other day, had his elected birthday. But um, what extra could that Drew Brees? He turned 42 on Friday, and just how crazy does that sound to know that he's playing at 42? And can you imagine playing 10 more years? Uh, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. I think it, it, it speaks a lot, a lot to him, um, and you know his preparation, and uh, you know his durability, his toughness. Um, you know whether it's his regimen or his process, everything that has allowed him to be able to play at a high level and to be able to do that on a consistent basis, but to be able to have that longevity in his career as well, um, you know, it, it, it's phenomenal. And really to be able to uh, go into a, a, a game where two of the best quarterbacks of all time are going head to head and one of them is 42 and one of them is 43 um, is, 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 is something, you know, and uh, uh, I think they 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 both have set uh, a standard that you know players in this game can only hope to emulate. And last question for Jeff. Here's Mario, something completely non-game related, but I know I assume you were there at training camp for the rookie show a year ago, 2019, when Sean Payton broke out his uh, rapping skills. I was just curious, uh, how would you evaluate his? Uh, battle rap ability <laughs> um from what i from what i witnessed if i'm giving my honest opinion uh, we got we got quite a few artists on our team um uh, probably about five or six not not including sean but when you put him in the mode i'm gonna have to say he in the top two he in the top two that's for sure did, did that did that shock you to see him do that and drop the mic and walk out Take down the, the rookie. <laughs> uh, yeah, it blew me away. It blew me away for sure. Thank you.